Another season, another ultra short throw projector. This time it's the Fengmi 4K laser projector. And in case you are wondering why I'm pronouncing Fengmi in this intonation, that's because it's the correct pronunciation in Mandarin. Feng means pig, Mi means rice, so Fengmi means pig rice. Such is the height of the company's ambitions. Anyway, that's your Chinese lesson for the day. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Thieu. I'm a display reviewer and professional calibrator. This Fengmi 4K Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector is around $300 US dollars more expensive than the Xiaomi Mi Jia I reviewed almost six months ago. With the notable upgrades being slightly higher lumens output, more internal storage of 64GB versus the 16GB on the Xiaomi Mi Jia, and more keystone correction points. The design is more angular, with straight lines and sharp corners, and there's a power button on the top right of the machine. The connections are located around the back of the unit, including three HDMI 2.0B ports with HDCP 2.2 compliance. Just like the Xiaomi Mi Jia, our Fengmi review sample emitted a high-pitched coil whine alongside the usual projector fan noise. Although turning up the volume of the decent inbuilt speakers should be enough to drown these out to an acceptable degree for most owners. Out of the box, the user menu is in Chinese, but it is not that difficult to change it to English if you can follow what I do in this video. Go into the My Apps folder, scroll right to the gears icon which will open the settings page, click on general settings, scroll down to language, press the right or left button on your remote control which will switch it to English, then click on confirm, and voila, the majority of the UI should be in English, although with the occasional spelling errors. I wonder if unread massage means that you can't predict where the hands will go next. Just take my money right now. Focus uniformity was good compared with other ultra short throw laser projectors we've tested to date, with most of the picture remaining fairly sharp. However, projection geometry on our review unit left a lot to be desired. We are projecting on this perfectly flat ALR screen from Sam's AV Screen Pro. Yet the top left of the projected image still looked wonky, and couldn't be rectified using the onboard digital keystone correction. With a quoted brightness of 1700 ANSI lumens, the Fengmi 4K laser projector shows a bright and punchy picture that simply cannot be matched by a traditional lamp-based projector at a similar price point. I'm actually projecting in a fairly bright room with the windows open, so it may look a bit washed out. Like other OEM ultra short throw laser projectors from China, the Fengmi effectively only has one picture mode that can be adjusted for calibration purposes. The moment you change any setting within any picture preset, it will populate the user mode. The most accurate movie mode was still too red in terms of grayscale, so we used the single point RGB adjustment system in user mode to flatten it out, resulting in more natural colors during real world viewing. Even though the picture can look a bit washed out in a dark room due to the absence of gamma control on the projector. As part of our agreement with Chinese retailer Gearbest.com, who have been kind enough to send us this projector for review, we will send you the calibrated settings we obtained on our review sample if you buy the unit using the link in our YouTube description below. Just email the Gearbest order number to our email as shown in this video. Remember, you need to specifically click on our link in the YouTube description below just before you buy the projector from Gearbest.com. Otherwise, your order won't show up on our backend, and if we can't verify your order, we cannot send you the calibrated settings as part of our agreement with Gearbest.com. Many thanks for your understanding. Since there is no motion interpolation technology on this projector, Motion resolution stayed at the sample and hold baseline of 300 lines. The refresh rate is locked at 60Hz in all non-3D modes, so visible judder can be seen in not only 24 frames per second movies, 
but also 50 hertz material we get in the UK and Europe, or any other PAL region for that matter. The Fengmi projector also applies forced noise reduction in all but monitor mode at non 4K resolution. So if you want the truest picture that doesn't suffer from motion smearing or film grain suppression, we strongly recommend that you ask your source device to upscale to 4K before sending the video signal to the projector. The Fengmi can accept and display HDR10 content, for example from 4K Blu-rays, but will clip bright detail in disk containing specular highlights near 4000 nits, such as the sun and clouds in pan. For gaming, the lowest input lag can be obtained in monitor mode, but still measured more than 110 milliseconds in 1080p SDR and 4K HDR modes, which is too sluggish for any self-respecting gamers out there. There is a possibility of routing the Android UI to lower the input lag by disabling more video processing, but we doubt many owners will want to risk breaking the projector, especially given that warranty service from China is going to be questionable at best in the first place. The 3D menu can be summoned by long pressing the quick menu button on the remote control, but the resulting 3D image still used the wrong color space on our review unit, making 3D unwatchable. To sum up, the Fengmi Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector produces a very similar picture to the Xiaomi Mi Jia, exhibiting the very same strengths and weaknesses, and we suspect that most people will just be satisfied with just buying the cheaper one, which is of course the Xiaomi Mi Jia in our case. Regardless of which one you end up buying, if you buy the Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector from our link to gearbest.com in the YouTube description below, we will send you the calibrated settings on our review unit. It won't be as good as getting your projector calibrated in person, mainly because of screen variability, but at least it'll be better than the factory settings. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.